Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at Alps plate spring switches, also known as Alps SKCP. No, not vertical plate spring switches, which are actually considerably more weird and complicated, and which I did my first ever teardown video on, but the horizontal low profile ones. Alps made a wide variety of keyboard switches, sometimes based on IBM gear, such as their version of buckling spring switches, but these plate spring switches are closer to beam springs in how they operate, just much cheaper to produce, and a lot more low profile, and also not capacitive, and also with a higher parts count actually. At the heart of the switch is a framed plate spring which inverts under pressure. This works quite similar to one of those vacuum test lids for foo jars. Plate springs, like beam springs, have a rather unique click sound to them that's fairly easily recognizable, and some very much like it, while others hate it. In order to actuate it, the slider has a pusher on it which exerts the necessary pressure, and to provide for over-travel, the pusher is movable through a captive coil spring held inside it. Over-travel means that you can still press the switch after it's been actuated. If not for this, it would bottom out instantly after actuation. It also provides a smoother return, as it doubles as a return spring. The plate spring itself, when inverted, pushes on a switch plate, which is a pre-assembled multi-part sandwich of contact plates and a spacer. It's very similar to the one used in Alps SKCL and SKCM switches, except it doesn't have or need the actuator at the front, and it's bent at a 90 degree angle so that it can lie flat in the bottom of the housing. It consists of five parts, but I don't have another spare to show you. These switch plates are riveted together, so you can't take them apart without damaging them permanently. Ironically, although they're probably cheaper to produce overall, they actually consist of more parts than the beam springs they somewhat mimic, at 11 parts, which is the same number as SKCM clicky switches, incidentally. Beam springs instead have eight parts. 11 parts makes them a fairly intricate switch, and it's an interesting design overall. The parts are the top and bottom housings, slider, pusher, captive coil spring, plate spring, two contact plates, a flexible contact, a spacer, and a front piece. That's it for this video, and you'll see these switches again in a review this weekend.